Good evening, Booktube YouTube. This is Johnny. It's been a while since I made a video. I spent at least seven days and um, it's been kind of hectic around here, uh, home wise. As I mentioned, um, well, first of all, it is July the 23rd. 2023 it is a Sunday is 5:45 in the evening it's 80 degrees inside the hermit hut <laughs> and uh, yeah it's been kind of hectic I, I mentioned in my last videos we got new flooring put into the house and that was a major 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 disruption in our lives and um, we had to, it was supposed to take three days. The movers come, take everything out of the house, put it in the garage. The next day, they laid the flooring, and then the third day, the movers move everything back in. So when they came to put the flooring in, they didn't realize the house was built in 52, 1952. Anyway, it need floor molding. <laughs> So we had to hire another another people who do that, put floor molding in around the edges of the floor. I don't know, it's hard to explain. So we didn't get moved in until another week went by. So we were camping out down the lower level, my wife and I, and it was really kind of exhausting <laughs> so then we got moved in oh it's been almost a week ago more than a week yeah at least maybe a week and a half ago so then we got everything moved in and then we had to get everything hooked up the tv the stereo the computer the printer the telephone and then we had to everything that was we had to put everything in order <laughs> and uh, I've been dehauling books because as I have mentioned in my videos I have too much stuff we have too much stuff so I had to go through I went through my library and I got a car full of books and we have an appointment to at Blue Stockings here in Holland and then I went through my CD collection, which I told you is the, around 3,000 CDs. And they used to be in my study here, but I didn't want them all in here. I just wanted the ones that I would listen to. Now you all know I have uh, tinnitus in my left ear, so I can't hear much anymore. And so I can't listen to loud music but I like music but and so what I did I've been doing the last couple of days is I've been boxing in book boxes CDs that I don't listen to I'm kind of a hoarder I can't get rid of stuff especially music because if I was to take it to CD exchange or nobody's gonna buy CDs when I volunteered at the book nook the library used bookstore you sell CDs for a dollar, a dollar fifty, and I'm sure if I was to sell them used, I wouldn't get anything for them. And I did box, I did separate the ones I didn't want that I'm going to take to a local thrift store action house, which uh, they they sell books and CDs, furniture, clothing, all kinds of things that people need, and they can sell the CDs and the money will go to they have a food they have a, a food pantry they they have a, a grocery store for poor people they have all kinds of programs for the so the money that will go people will buy the CDs their action house will go to help people so and my oldest son down the street wanted some of the CDs that I was going to get rid of so I've been getting rid of CDs, getting rid of books, getting things in order. 
This is the study. You can tell there's kind of an echo because we used to have old carpet floors and now we have like, they're like vinyl kind of flooring. They look like you're walking in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> really nice floor. As I, as I mentioned, you can see photos of the new flooring in my diary, Crooked Fingers. I put posted photos and so you can go there if you want to see the flooring. <laughs> the old carpet and the new flooring. So that's been kind of exhausting, going through books, going through CDs, getting things hooked up, getting everything back in order. My wife hasn't got her room in order yet. It's just been a really kind of hectic, but I have been reading, I have gotten books in the mail. And so yeah, as far as my diary, for July to 2023, I ended on page 628 for the year 2023. So I, I still write in my diary. I write in my online diary, Crooked Fingers. If you don't see my videos in YouTube or Booktube, you can always go to my live journal online diary, Crooked Fingers, which I've been writing in since March of 2001. And I write every day. I post photos, I post videos from YouTube. Uh, I just talk about my day-to-day -day life here in Babylon and <laughs> Babylon. Uh, so what I've been reading, well, first I'll show you the books I got in the mail. Uh, I, I have books by this fellow, and this is his newest book, The Story of Russia by Orlando Figs. And he's written several books on Russia. Uh, the People's Tragedy, The Russian Revolution, 1891 to 1924, which won some awards. Na Natasha's Dance, A Culture History of Russia, The Crimean War, A History, Whispers, The Private Life in Stalin's Russia, uh, Revolutionary Russia, 1891 to 1991, the, this is, the last one I read of his was The Europeans, Three Lives, and the Making of a Cosmopolitan Culture. So I got, I've been reading this. I haven't gotten far into it, but I've been reading it. I've been reading uh, a Russian because I've been reading a lot of novels based in Russia. Uh, back in the time of the October Revolution, the Bolsheviks Revolution. Uh, the overthrow of the Tsar and then the, the murdering of the Tsar and his family and the takeover of the Bolsheviks and then Stalin. And I've been reading another one of Victor Serge's novels, Midnight in the Century, Victor Serge translated in, with an introduction by Richard Greenman. I finished that uh, other big, huge 700 autobiography, The Story of My Life by that Russian writer and I wrote my reflections if you want to know what I thought of the story of my life it's in my online diary Crooked Fingers there's a long entry it's like a book report or a book uh, review kind of thing so I've been reading this the last couple of days well I'm on page 83 it's 200 and 16 pages. I got this in the mail, the Parisian Sketches by J.K. Hosmans, translated from the French by Brind uh, Brendan King. I've been, I haven't really gotten into this. I'm on page 39, but I've been, but I have other, uh, other, uh, writings by him. He's known as the heir of the decadent writers. Now you have to look that up on, on the internet. It's not what we think about decadent. It's a genre of literature around the 1890s, uh, early 1900s in France, in England. I read a lot of this one. I showed you, I got this at the at, on July the 3rd at a Friends of the Library used book sale in Grand Rapids. 
The Ascetic Adventure by William Gaunt. I ordered his other book, The Pre-Raphael Dream, which is supposed to be coming in the mail. I ordered it used. But I almost finished reading this and I really enjoyed it. If you're into wanting to know uh, literary history, he goes into Oscar Wilde. He goes into Bolaire. He goes into uh, Whistler and all these painters and writers and poets and playwrights who were in the ascetic movement about 1890 to early 1900s. I really enjoyed this. And uh, that is Beersley is also mentioned in here, the, the uh, illustrator. Uh, so yeah, I, I also got some books in the mail the other day. This is uh, Claudia Mangus, Journeys. They're, they're like travel essays, history translated out of the Italian by Anne Meleno Alpil. I read his novel recently, uh, which I really highly recommend, A Different Sea by uh, Claudio Mangus. This is really a, a, a wonderful little read. I highly recommend it. And I just finished reading his book on the Danube. And then I got this. These are all were damaged. They're really, this you can tell this is all damaged. You can see remainder of marks. It's all smudged. I got it for $8. But this is Speak, Silence, and Search of W.G. Zabal by R. Carlo Ang. Angular, I can't pronounce her name, but this is a biography. I collect his writings. I, I just picked up used his novel, The Immigrant, and and they had this for like eight dollars. It's really kind of smudgy. It's not what I thought, but I don't. As long as I can read it, I don't care. So I got these in the mail. These books. I got this, The Parisian Sketches, Journeys by. Mangris, I can't pronounce the name. Speak Easy in Search of W.G. Sabal. And The Story of Russia. By so I got these in the mail. Also, I got a Christian book from Reformation Heritage Books, which sells Puritan literature, Reformed Calvinistic literature. This is a Puritan reprint, just came out, The Wells of Salvation Open by William Sparstow. Burstow, Stoll. He lived from 1605 and he died in 1666. This is a new, well, the full title is The Wells of Salvation Open, a treatise discovering the nature, preciousness, usefulness of gospel promises, and rules for the right application of them by William Spur, Spurstow. And this is a Puritan reprint. It's been edited for modern readers. So I got that. And for what I've been reading in the mornings, when I'm able to function and concentrate, still been reading William Perkins on the Apostles' Creed. I'm on, uh, I think I'm on the part where I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, which is the Church of God's elect. And I'm still reading Theoretical Practical Theology, Redemption in Christ, Volume 4, by Petrus Van Manstrit. Uh, I'm almost halfway through this. I've read almost 400 pages of this. Uh, I really highly recommend him. He's one of my favorite Dutch theologians. He's just been translated out of Latin. This is the fourth volume. There's two more volumes coming out. It's, it's become one of my most favorite books. And I've been reading The Love of Christ, expository sermons on verses from the Song of Solomon, chapters 4 through 6 by the Puritan Richard Sibbs. I'm almost done with this. been reading this. And I've been reading The Hermeneutics of Wisdom, Recovering the Formative Agency of Scripture by G. Dahl Wall Dryden. This is an excellent book for if you're 
a, a minister or a serious Christian or you, you, you read the Bible and you want to uh, give you some insights on how to read Scripture and how it affects our spiritual formation and how Scripture is there to communicate to us holy wisdom. This is really good. Oh, it's going out of focus. So I recommend this. I don't know why it's going out of focus, but I recommend this. And then I've been still, I've been reading the Reformation as renewal, retrieving the one holy Catholic and apostolic church by Matthew Barrett. And it has a subtitle. Uh, this is really a good, inter this is a heavy book. It's kind of challenging intellectually, but I highly recommend it. The Reformation is re Renewal, Retrieving the One Holy Ca Catholic Apostolic Church, an Intellectual and Theological History by Matthew Barrett. I highly recommend this. Also for serious Christian reading. Uh, it's really a, really a great book. So that's why I've been reading when I'm not trying to get the house in order and going through my CDs and going through the books to the haul them this coming Wednesday I have an appointment reading the midnight in the century by Victor Serge and <coughs> the ascetic adventure by William Gaunt writing in my diary I just started reading the wells of salvation this morning the new one by William Spurstall Stall. And yeah, so that's what's going on around here. Not much else. Like I said, we're just getting used to, well, it's really nice to see the floors instead of that old carpet that we had for 33, probably it was at least probably 38 years old. And it's nice to see the floors. I can show you how they look. So you can look down and see how they look. It's kind of nice, isn't it? And so, going through my CDs and just going through the days, watering the, my flower gardens, blooming, and so, yeah, that's what's going on. This camera's getting kind of, there it is. Anyway, this is going on 17 minutes. I don't know what else. This, this is a Sunday. We have a new week. I'll be boxing up more CDs. Uh, this coming Wednesday, we're going to the, the Blue Stocking Bookshop and de hauling books. And I got some used books coming in the mail. I don't plan to go. The book nook is closed until next next year, April. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to read. I got plenty to read. I got I got William Perkins. I got Van Manstrit. I, I got the Bible, <laughs> and uh, so yeah. So I hope you're all doing well. I've been trying to respond to comments. Um, that's about it. But I do recommend this book. Uh, it's a little, short little thing, but it's a wonderful little thing. A Different Sea, a vintage by Claudia Mangris. I just highly recommend it. It's just a, a wonderful little read. So, I know things keeps going in and out. So, I recommend it. Check it out. It's 19 minutes. It's 6.04 in the evening. It's July the 23rd. It's a Sunday. It's 82 degrees inside the Hermit Hut. And yeah. So once again, I thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. Do pray that in the last week you're all doing well. In spite of the heat, global warming, political chaos, the end of the world. We just have to pray. Come Lord Jesus. So once again, thank you. And pray you're all doing well. Have a good reading week. And until next time, bye.